Something legend in the making. It's a nine-year-old boy who's already in high school, Whoa. a real-life young Sheldon, and taking a college neuroscience class. Wild. Meet Kids, Aiden Wilkins. are you listening, right? Right? Yeah. Ooh. Step it up Man. now. At just two years old, when everyone else was learning his ABCs, Aiden was already reading road signs. Fast forward to today. Look at him there in front of everyone. He looks so small. And he's a sophomore in high school, also sitting in a neuroscience lectures in college. Aiden has already had, has, had, or has sites in medical school, hoping to one day become a pediatric neurosurgeon. He's like a little wow doogie howser. Wow, he is. You, you Except even younger. You know what's funny? That was actually in the original read for that story, and I didn't know. I didn't know who Doogie. I didn't know no, if you, you would don't. know who that was. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know. Who I didn't know. Was. Yeah. So I was like, I don't want to put that in because I don't want. To it was a medical was show back in the day, and he was like him. He was a young savant when it comes to. He started high school very early and college mm -hmm. early. He was like a high school student in college. It's our version. That's really wow. impressive. It, that version of uh, young Sheldon. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I, that's from uh, Big Bang Theory, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. it's a spin-off of a spin-off spin yeah. of a spin-off, okay. and Young Sheldon is actually based here in East Texas. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if you couldn't tell, I don't watch anything that's not sports-related, so I'm sorry. <laughs> right. I wish I could have. Uh, you, know, you know what's crazy, though? Huh? And this is a little, like, TV pet peeve of mine, but I what's see up? why they did it. Then the show Young Sheldon, there's a certain TV channel out there that's not us, but, you know, Young Sheldon is our, on our channel. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you got. I'm not going to name who that TV channel is because we're better than them. But. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. But you know, if, if you know, okay. you know who was out there back in the day. But we're better, and you know, Young Sheldon is here on CBS. So watch us instead. Mm. Oh my goodness. Well, out in Tennessee, <laughs> the annual Nashville Fair is underway, and this year the event features an artist who paints portraits of animals. But each portrait takes only one hour to wow. paint. Artist Julia Tong says that she tries to catch the most authentic side of each animal. Those are great. In an hour? She says her goal at the fair <laughs> is to foster a love of art in anyone who passes by. I that love cow. That. Wow, that's, that's oh, That cow was ready for nice his colors. painting. I did an event once um, in East Texas at All Saints where my kids go to school and we had a, a speaker and he was an artist and he painted a picture in that amount of time too and also spoke to us and it was incredible and it sold painting while speaking painting while That's speaking a yeah it was awesome and it was gorgeous, gorgeous that is a real life bob ross yesterday i think last night i saw a video of like some girl doing some challenge saying oh, i'm gonna you know follow a bob ross video mm -hmm. without pausing it it was a clear copy and paste. Did she was that good. Tiny wow. little trees. Yes, like tiny she had all the breasses and she was like, happy little trees. Happy, tiny happy little, little trees. trees. Yeah. Little brush no, no I'm, mistakes, just happy accidents. Yeah, for sure. I'm, oh. I'm always jealous of people who can paint and draw Me and everything. Too. I can't even draw a star. I, I'm, I'm horrible at art. Anything art. I related. can do stars, hearts, and a really sad tree. Oh, it, it's man. doable. Mm -hmm. If you follow a Bob Ross video. I had to pause it, but it, it came out pretty darn close. Really? Right. It's a little mountain with the lake and trees in the background. Well, my dad would be impressed. <laughs> oh, sounds like a picture. All right, well, it's National Make Your Bed Day. If you haven't, do it. If you didn't do it, do it tomorrow. Celebrate late. Seems simple <laughs> enough, right? But research shows that this small habit every single day could actually set you up for bigger success later in life. Literally, millionaires say starting the day with the made bed helps set the tone for productivity focus and even a better sleep. And making your bed might not sound glamorous, but studies show it's one of the key habits of staying wealthy. And researchers also found that people who make their bed are more likely to, or twice as likely to be mil become millionaires than those who don't. And it's a small daily action that creates a ripple effect, you know, boosting your productivity throughout the day, sharpening your focus skills, and improving your routine. So whether it's your crisp sheets or your fresh pillows, just make that bed first thing as you step out the door this morning if you haven't already. Did you make your bed this morning? Dana? No. How are you going to do me like that, Dana? No, <laughs> I didn't make my bed. I mean, we get up so early, how could I make my bed? Right. Right. I have like I'm a in partially the same boat, man. made bed. Can I be like half a millionaire? I like get it close, but I have like a lot of pillows, you know, on yeah. my bed. So not all the pillows are on there, not the fancy pillows. My bed is only made on the weekends. Right. Because I mean, we get up in the middle of the night. We do, and then once you come back home, you're either going to bed or you just don't want to be in the room because you're going to want to go to bed and not be able yeah. to go to bed later. and Or we might need a nap. Or might need a nap. So why like undo the bed if you're just going to go back in the bed? I feel like we get credit for waking up in the middle of the night. And that's our 
pass for not doing yeah. it. Right. So nobody here made their bed this morning. Did you? Oh no. No. Okay. No. No. We're no. On no. The same page. <laughs> okay. Cool. No. 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 I, get, uh, yeah. I mean, it's like partially. I pull up the covers and put the some pillows, but I don't put all. Like I said. No. And we're over here telling you to make your bed. Right. We're telling you though, so you can become a millionaire. If you want to become a millionaire. Yeah. If you do, who you doesn't said, though? You yeah, said, it sounds good to me. Yeah. Dana said it. Well, she half a millionaire. You know, and I'll take that. I'll take five hundred grand. You know what I mean? I'll take a quarter. Hey, I take. I think if I was great, I, man, we're all gonna be rich over here. I'll give y'all a little bit of money. Right. We'll when I was younger, I took off the sheet, you know, the cover sheet mm -hmm. for my bed, so it was easier to make my bed. So all I had to do was pull up the comforter. And that's it? Yeah, so beat the system. Work smarter, not harder. That's right, beat the system. Mm. Beat the system. All right, well, hopefully a lot of people are out of bed and maybe heading out the door this morning, but there mm -hmm. is a lot of humidity today. There's a lot mm -hmm. of humidity, and we got some heat building in as well. Let's take a look at the next few hours here.